if this newly unveiled battery from CHL really does what CHL says it does, which is extremely likely considering this is the biggest battery company in the world, then solid state batteries are now officially obsolete. If you're working on them, put down your tools, you're wasting your time. Sounds crazy, but actually, I think it's true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the 8,000 new subscribers I've just seen over the last few weeks. We've made 3,000 videos over the past 24 months since we started this channel. Make sure you ring that little icon notification bell, otherwise you probably won't see the seven, six or seven videos we do per day. Big thank you, shout out. Patreon supporters, thank you so much. YouTube members, thank you as well. Everyone that's donated to our GoFundMe campaign for my wife's cancer diagnosis and the expensive treatment, which is definitely working. Thank you so much. Very, very grateful to you, all of you. If you want to know more about that, I'll put a link in the description. CHEL, I announced that they've been working on these condenser batteries about six months ago. I'll put a link in the description to the video I made about these batteries. At the time, no one knew what the energy density was. Now that we know what they are, electric airplanes are here. This is it. I mean, what more, what more can I say? 500 watts per kilo. This is what we needed. Uh, and it's here. CHEL say it is. This is probably the most trusted battery company on the face of the earth. Uh, wow. This is a moment in history which we all need to pay attention to this. This is a seminal moment in the history of the planet because everything just changed. What do I mean? Well, batteries right now, energy density, LFP batteries, around 160, 170 watts per kilo. Lithium ternary batteries, which are the batteries in Hyundai Ioni 5. Porsche Taycan, the average EV, for example, 4680 cells, they're, they're considered lithium ternary, between 200 to 240 watts per kilo. These ones, 500. 500 watts per kilo. That's more than some many solid state battery companies say they're working on. I haven't even achieved yet, but they're working on. The thing here is, this is not a technology that will come out in 10 years, and then maybe not, maybe 11 and then drag on. For example, Toyota has been saying since 2013 that they would have solid state battery packs in their electric cars. Oh no, next year, oh no, next year. They said this for seven years until 2021. Then they stopped saying it. It's never happened. This technology is here now, say CATL, and they say they'll be mass manufacturing it by the end of this year. This is the energy density Elon Musk says we need for airplanes to become real. I'm talking commercial aircraft. I'm talking large scale aircraft. This will change the entire aviation industry. If you're a company, if you're invested in solid state battery technology, you need to seriously consider whether that's a good idea. I suspect that it's not. Yeah, you know, this is the kind of information you really need to consider if you're, inve you're an investor. Now think of this, right? Volkswagen have invested billions into solid state battery companies. Is that investment going to pay off? Well, considering the fact that Volkswagen have $185 billion in debt, they're investing $200 billion into electrification, they need all of their money. They need it all. So if they keep on investing into solid state batteries when this technology is here and it's here today, or at least this year, that is probably not a good decision. Today, CATL officially unveiled their new battery technology called the condensed battery. It is expected to be used in electric aircraft and drive faster change in the electric vehicle industry. Now, Elon Musk said, once we have cheaper batteries with higher energy density, EV adoption will happen much quicker. If you put a battery pack like this into a car, you only need a very small size battery. You're talking, you know, you put a 50 kilowatt hour size battery pack, a smaller battery pack than what you can see now in the base model Tesla Model 3. With this energy density, not only will it be very light, because it's much smaller than other battery packs. It's gonna provide you with about a thousand kilometers of range for a smaller battery pack. I've been saying now for a long time, people aren't listening. I know you guys do. So many people are not listening to this that it was only a matter of time before we came, we got to this point. Now by 2030, pickup trucks will not make any sense unless they are electric. Put a hundred kilowatt hour battery pack with a 500 watt per kilo energy density into a Ford F-150, you'll easily get 500 miles of range. This is the future and it's here already. I'm not, not even 2030. 
This is gonna happen within this short space of time. CATL has built a micron scale adaptive mesh structure that regulates interchain interaction forces for changes in the electrochemical reactions of ultra high energy density chemistries according to CATL's chief scientist. CNFPost.com says that the battery introduces a series of innovations in isolation films as well as innovative processes, including a high energy cathode and a new type of anode. And the company actually advertised this as being intended for commercial aviation. CHL is working on a collaborative development of a civilian electric aircraft project, civilian, and is implementing aerospace grade standards in the process to meet aerospace grade safety and quality requirements. They're already doing this. Who would have thought, right? They not only work on the battery, they're already putting it into airplanes. The condensed battery will also be available for use in electric cars and will have mass production capability this year, said CATL. Keep in mind, this isn't some unknown company. This is the biggest battery company in the world. They usually are well known for doing what they say they'll do. CATL initially said at the Chongqing Auto Show in late July last year that the company was developing a condensed battery in addition to solid state and semi-solid state batteries. Now, I don't know why they're working on solid state or semi-solid state batteries or if that's even really true. And I don't see the need for them if they have a 500 watt per kilogram energy density in these particular cells. On the 20th of August, 2022, Wu, the chief scientist at CATL, said that the condensed battery has features including high safety, high reliability, and very good cycle life. That's the trifecta of those things, high safety, reliability, and very good cycle life. Now, you can imagine just how important reliability is for an aircraft, right? It's gonna be a big challenge to convert commercial aircraft. The reason being is this, if you have a battery problem, what happens to your airplane? If you have a motor problem, right, you have four motors on a, a large airplane, generally, or at least two. One of them goes out, you still have one or three left. If your battery stops working, does your plane keep flying? It'll take a while to get to there because that will be a key concern of the aviation industry. As some background, 500 watt kilo energy density is the highest I've seen in batteries ever, in particular from a company that is legitimate and is known for producing quality products, is known for being the biggest battery company in the world. This is the kind of energy density we're expecting to come from solid state batteries, but it just hasn't gotten here yet. It seems to me as though CATL may have just won the race. It seems to me as though solid state batteries, as I've been predicting, won't ever even be necessary. But I could be wrong. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.